Hello guys, welcome back to Empower Tutorials. This is your master teacher, Dr. Sona. How's everyone doing? So yes, we are back with our uh, previously session, previous session that needs to be uh, concluded for today. So what we are going to start with today is the second part of excretion. We've, uh, we've gone into human physiology long back and uh, we've already done and completed with uh, the circulation part about the heart, the heartbeat, the blood pressure, about all the blood cells, uh, hemoglobin. We've seen everything related to the heart. Uh, post that, post those sessions, we've all also started with the excretory system, a very important system uh, that comes post the circulatory system. So we are done with the first session of the excretory system, in which we what we have seen is the basic structure of the kidney. Then uh, uh, what are the parts of the kidney? We have seen about the kidney tubule. All right, so we've seen the basic functions of the kidney. So now going forward, we are going ahead with the excretory system uh, session two, and uh, we'll be probably uh, concluding with the excretory system in this session itself. It's a very easy, uh, easy chapter to deal with. Uh, what you really need to learn from this chapter is uh, all about the kidney, the structure, the diagram of the kidney is really important. And uh, another important thing is, of course, the kidney tubule structure. And last but not the least, uh, the formation of urine, which is basically the main function of the kidney. All right. So guys, yes, we'll be seeing all this in detail and uh, let's get started. Okay. So like we always begin with a positive quote, what does this say? Never stop learning because life never stops teaching, right? So, you know, uh, kids always remember uh, today you might consider yourself to be small. Tomorrow when you all are grown up, you all are professionals, you all are businessmen and no matter what you all are in life tomorrow, Always be a student. Be a student for life. Trust me, you all are going to enjoy life. Be a student for life. Keep learning. No matter what kind of experiences you go through, always keep learning. And you are going to cherish life like nothing else if you stay like a student for life. Trust me. Okay, so never stop learning. That means just be a student. Now, let's see this. Uh, you know, in a humorous way, it says, I am still learning. Okay, now this is some Michelin law. At the age of 87, he writes, I am still learning. So do you do you realize that? I mean, uh, at 87, what otherwise we would consider is what they clear life, everything we have seen, right? So it's not that way. We need to keep learning. And remember my words, be a student for life, all right? For now, we are already students. Yes, yeah, so let's get started. Okay. Another important thing is I had given you all one activity question. What we had seen last time was what is excretion? So I also asked you all, what is the difference between excretion and defecation? Okay. So uh, in simple terms, if I have to tell you, excretion is, say, passing away of the urine. Okay. Defecation is feces, stools, passing of stools, basically. Okay. So excretion, mein kya hota hai? we are only eliminating the nitrogenous wastes from the metabolism, which come out in the form only of the urine. All right. And in defecation, we are removing the undigested food. All right. So do not get confused. You cannot use the word or the term defecation in place of excretion or vice versa. All right. Defecation, mein what we are doing is undigested food ko hum remove kar rahe from the body. It is a part of the digestive system. Whereas excretion is a part of the excretory system. All right. And waste are removed in the form of feces. that you just seen. All right. So please keep this in mind. It's an important one. Okay. Going ahead most most important thing and a very important answer as well from point of view of your exams and everything the main function of the kidney that is the formation of urine all right now what you need to remember here is firstly you need to remember about the uh, tubule structure kya tha tubule ka structure we had a bowman's capsule usme a dense network of capillaries tha, which was known as the glomerulus correct then usse connected tha proximal convoluted tubule then you had the loop of Henle, just ascending loop, tha, descending loop, tha, and then you had the distal convoluted tubule followed by the collecting duct. All right, so this was the basic structure of the tubule that we have seen last class. Okay, now what we are seeing here is the formation of urine. All right, so uh, it occurs basically broadly in two major steps that you need to remember, which is ultra filtration and reabsorption. Okay, so now what is exactly happening here? Oh, another thing that we have seen in structure of kidney and blood vessels and everything, uh, there is there are afferent blood vessels and efferent blood vessels. What was the difference that I told you all? Afferent is your RA towards the organ. Efferent is which are leaving the organ. All right. 
सो नाउ यू वी हैव एफरेंट आर्टरियोल्स एंड इफरेंट आर्टरियोल्स ठीक है सो प्रोसेस कैसे हो रहा है ब्लड फ्लोस विद ग्रेट प्रेशर ड्यू टू द एफरेंट आर्टरियोल बिकॉज़ इट्स वेरी ह्यूज उसमें से ब्लड का गशिंग फ्लो होता है सो द प्रेशर इज अ लॉट ओके लिक्विड पार्ट ऑफ द ब्लड गेट्स फिल्टर्ड इनटू द रीनल ट्यूब्यूल ठीक है विच इज द ग्लोमेरुलर फिल्ट्रेट जिसको हम बोलते हैं जो लिक्विड पार्ट फिल्टर आउट होता है इन फ्रॉम द ग्लोमेरुलस इनटू द कैप्सूल दैट इज नोन एज द ग्लोमेरुलर फिल्ट्रेट ओके दैट गेट्स फिल्टर्ड इन द बोमेन कैप्सूल ब्लड के प्रेशर की वजह से द लिक्विड पार्ट ऑफ इट विल गेट फिल्टर्ड ठीक है नेक्स्ट थिंग दिस फिल्ट्रेशन बिकॉज़ इट इज हैपनिंग अंडर एक्स्ट्राऑर्डिनरी फोर्स which is why it is known as ultra filtration all right it is under extreme force the gushing force of blood all right that is why it is known as ultra filtration okay now what does this glomerular filtrate consist of okay so the glomerular filtrate that we just spoke about the liquid part of it right so that consists of water urea salts glucose plasma solute etc now these are all liquid things all these small small things together form up that liquid part which is getting filtered Which we are calling as the glomerular filtrate. ठीक है? ये देखो. Formation of urine is occurring in three separate steps. Broadly is secretion and filtration. So we have glomerular filtration. यहाँ glomerulus है, ये glomerular capsule है. This is the dense network of capillaries. Then here, the next step is the tubular reabsorption. ये proximal convoluted tubule में हो रहा है. Then जो हमको चाहिए, जो बचाना है products, that is going to happen in the tubular secretion part, in the distal part of the tubule. and then via the collecting duct the urine will temporarily get collected in the collecting duct and from there it will go towards the process of excretion all right so that is just in a gist it's a very easy thing i mean don't go into or don't unnecessarily complicate it it's very easy theek hai ultra filtration samajh mein aa gaya it's because of extra ordinary pressure of the blood because of the afferent artery theek hai uske baad kya ho raha hai सिलेक्टिव रीअब्सॉर्प्शन नाउ सिलेक्टिव रीअब्सॉर्प्शन किन चीजों का हो रहा है द थिंग्स द सॉल्यूट्स द मिनरल्स व्हाटएवर इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द बॉडी एवरीथिंग दैट वी नीड सो सिलेक्टिव रीअब्सॉर्प्शन हो रहा है दैट इज व्हाई वी कॉल इट सिलेक्टिव रीअब्सॉर्प्शन व्हाटएवर वी नीड उसमें से हम वो वापस ले रहे हैं दैट इज व्हाई वी कॉल इट रीअब्सॉर्प्शन सी ग्लोमेरुलस में हो रहा है अल्ट्रा फिल्ट्रेशन देन बोमेंस कैप्सूल इज रिसीविंग द ग्लोमेरुलर फिल्ट्रेट प्रोक्सिमल कॉन्वुलेटेड ट्यूब्यूल दैट इज द पीसीटी इट रीअब्सॉर्ब्स मोस्ट ऑफ द वाटर ओके and much of the glucose and sodium and chloride ions okay all the important ions and majorly glucose is reabsorbed by the pct okay going forward last part jo humne dekha was tubular secretion isme kya ho raha hai loop of henle also there is absorption of water and ions now what this tubular secretion the last part of it takes place in the pct that is the distal convoluted tubule all right so reabsorption of the remaining chlorides and some water so walls will secrete potassium and foreign chemicals such as the penicillin and other drugs into formation of urine theek okay? hai that is happening in the dct the filtrate potassium chemicals and drugs will move towards dct that needs to be excreted something that we don't want in our body theek okay? hai harmful things we want to let go of them so this filtrate which is left after selective reabsorption ऊपर पीसीटी में सिलेक्टिव रीअब्सॉर्प्शन हो गया जो जो काम का था जो जो इम्पोर्टेंट था वो हमने रीअब्सॉर्ब कर लिया है करेक्ट नाउ वट एवर इज लेफ्ट ओवर इज समथिंग दैट वी डोंट वांट इज हार्मफुल समथिंग लाइक ड्रग्स पेनिसिलीन एंड ऑल दीज केमिकल काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स सो द रिमेनिंग फिल्ट्रेट व्हिच इज लेफ्ट आफ्टर सिलेक्टिव रीअब्सॉर्प्शन इज नोन एज द यूरिन व्हिच इज एक्सक्रीटेड आउट ओके गाइस आर वी क्लियर विद दिस वेरी इजी वेरी सिंपल व्हाट यू कैन डू इज दिस टेबल यू कैन जस्ट रिमेंबर इसमें पूरा प्रोसेस आ जाता है Uh, formation of urine can you can just put this down in proper sentence form okay to make it easier for you all while you write the answer theek hai should we go ahead yes children let's go ahead urine excretion okay now so there is something known as ureteral peristalsis now we've heard or we've gone through this word of peristalsis while we have studied about the digestive system theek hai what is peristalsis movement right peristalsis is movement of food in the digestion that is why here we are calling it ureteral peristalsis ureteral peristalsis means movement of the urine via the different organs of the urinary system all right next is micturation what is micturation yes yes children what is micturation you all are going to find out what is micturation and get back to me in the next class all right i am going to ask you all what is micturation it is something uh, that has to do with the passing of urine definitely 
and uh, something to deal with the process of urine excretion. Already, right, all are going to find out and write down to me in the comment section. Okay, I will respond to you all over there. All right. Okay. Now, next thing. ये जो मूवमेंट हो रहा है ना यूरिन का द पेरिस्टाल्सिस दैट इज हैपनिंग इन द यूरिन इज गोइंग टू रिक्वायर सम काइंड ऑफ एनर्जी राइट सो देयर इज अ लॉट ऑफ एनर्जी कंजम्पशन व्हिच हैपेंस ड्यूरिंग द पासिंग ऑफ यूरिन और ड्यूरिंग द फाइनल प्रोसेस ऑफ यूरिन एक्सक्रीशन ओके जस्ट रिमेंबर दिस ओके नाउ यूरिन यूरिन वी आर टॉकिंग सो मच अबाउट यूरिन सो वी नीड टू नो अबाउट दैट लिक्विड और दैट फ्लूइड दैट वी आर एक्सक्रीटिंग आउट ऑफ आवर बॉडी व्हाट डज इट कंटेन व्हाट आर इट्स प्रॉपर्टीज how uh, you know how are the lab tests and everything done right so color as we know it is actually clear yellow it will vary because of uh, different pigments but this clear yellow color is because of the pigment known as urochrome okay it is chrome means color uro is with regards to the urinary system or the urine so color giving to the urine is urochrome clear yellow color is because of that volume per day roughly should be 1 to 1 and 1/2 liters it will def definitely vary according to different people maybe according to gender maybe according to the age group maybe according to the health of the uh, person all right so it it will vary it is variable next thing is ph uh, it is uh, usually slightly acidic so it is towards or you can say it is within the range of 5 to 8 okay uh, when we say it is acidic so it is going to be uh, towards the acidic side of the ph scale 7 where we consider it to be neutral So just remember, it is more or less, more or less, at towards the acidic medium, all right. But what happens is, uh, when we consume a lot of, uh, when we consume a lot of food, uh, which is say salty or fibrous, so because of that combination, uh, the urine sometimes becomes alkaline. Say, मतलब वो balance होने लगता है, the acidity of urine and the uh, basicity or the alkalinity of the foods that we are consuming. All right, so sometimes the diet makes it alkaline as well. Next thing, odor. The smell of urine becomes very strong, uh, ammonia-like due to the bacterial activity. Otherwise, it's a faint smell. Usually, it's a faint smell, but long time, over a long time, when you, uh, when you are there at that place, or probably you know when we stand outside the urinals or something. So because it is a long-standing smell, it is a foul smell, ammonia-like smell. That is also because of the chemical or say bacterial activity that is taking place inside. Otherwise, it's a rough, normal, faint smell. All right. Okay. Specific gravity now in terms of numbers, you can probably remember. Nothing really important. Okay. Now the last part of it is yeah, it's a very a uh, short session like I told you all. Last part is the constituents of urine. Okay. What is present in urine? 95% water, 5% solids. The so no, now see, uh, when we talk about the constituents, there could be normal constituents जो चाहिए urine में जो होने ही चाहिए, and there would be something abnormal which is actually not required, but because of उसका presence, so it can cause some harmful effects to our body. ठीक है? तो जो normal constituents होते हैं, they will include urea, creatinine, uric acid, NaCl, KCl, ammonia, etc. So now all these से सोडियम क्लोराइड पोटेशियम क्लोराइड ये वाले सारे सॉल्ट हो गया यूरिया हो गया क्रियाटिनिन हो गया तो ऑल दीज कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट इन फिक्स और से लिमिटेड प्रपोर्शन आर द नॉर्मल कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट ऑफ यूरिन नाउ देर आर गोन बी सम अब नॉर्मल कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट ऑफ यूरिन प्रेजेंट एज वेल वाई डू यू थिंक वी डू ब्लड टेस्ट वेन वी डू ब्लड टेस्ट वाई डू यू थिंक द डॉक्टर सजेस्ट अस टू डू यूरिन टेस्ट राइट सो दे एक्चुअली जस्ट नीड टू चेक कि जो नॉर्मल कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट्स है वो करेक्टली मेंटेन है या नहीं एंड इफ देर इज एनी प्रेजेंस ऑफ एनी अब नॉर्मल कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट इन द यूरिन ठीक है अभी अब नॉर्मल क्या हो सकते हैं ब्लड इफ ब्लड इज प्रेजेंट इन द यूरिन वी कॉल इट हीम यूरिया हीम मींस ब्लड यूरिया मींस विथ रिगार्ड्स टू द यूरिनरी सिस्टम ऑफ द यूरिन हीम यूरिया वी कॉल इट व्हेन ब्लड इज प्रेजेंट इन द यूरिन देन व्हेन देयर इज प्रेजेंस ऑफ ग्लूकोस इट कैन लीड टू बोथ द टाइप्स ऑफ डायबिटीज इट कुड बी डायबिटीज मेलाइटिस और इट कुड बी डायबिटीज इंसिपिडस राइट presence of albumin presence of bile pigments now bile pigments definitely usually are present in the urine but then there is a certain uh, say proportion of it that needs to be present exceeding that it is going to be considered to be abnormal right so that is about the constituents of urine uh, so i think uh, what is important for you all from this session is uh, basic properties and constituents of urine i don't think you all even need to remember anything like take efforts it's very common general knowledge it is but still you know it could come uh, maybe as a mcq or as a two mark short answer just keep it in mind 
एंड द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग दैट यू नीड टू नो इज फॉर्मेशन ऑफ यूरिन ठीक है अगर ट्यूब्यूलर किडनी ट्यूब्यूल का स्ट्रक्चर याद होगा जो हमने फर्स्ट सेशन में किया है देन इट बिकम वेरी इजी फॉर यू टू जस्ट गो थ्रू दोज प्रोसेस ठीक है ये वाला जो मैंने टेबल बोला आपको दिस टेबल यू ऑल कैन जस्ट रिमेम्बर इट्स अ वेरी इजी थिंग वेरी इजी आंसर टू कम फॉर थ्री मार्क्स एंड वेन यू ऑल आर ड्रॉइंग वेन यू ऑल आर प्रोबेबली राइटिंग दिस आंसर अबाउट द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ यूरिन डू ड्रॉ द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द किडनी ट्यूब्यूल और राइट सो यस योर सिंपली यू कैन जस्ट ईजी डायग्रामेटिक पिक्चर में यू कैन शो ठीक है डोंट मेक इट कॉम्प्लिकेटेड थोड़ा थोड़ा करके यू नो जस्ट सिंप्लीफाइड फॉर्म में आंसर लिखो डोंट मेक इट कॉम्प्लिकेटेड फॉर योर सेल्फ ऑल्सो एंड फॉर द टीचर ऑल्सो टू चेक ठीक है वाई आई एम सेंग दिस ना बिकॉज इफ यू गो थ्रू द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ यूरिन का पार्ट फ्रॉम द टेक्सट बुक ना बिकॉज इट्स गिवेन सो मच इन थ्योरी एंड इन डेप्थ और इन लेंथ रेदर यू माइट फाइंड दैट इट इज वेरी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड एंड यू नो लेट्स ओमिटेड और लेट्स नॉट डू इट सो डोंट डू एनीथिंग ऑफ दैट सो इट्स अ वेरी इजी थिंग जस्ट गो थ्रू इट You can just take what is there in these slides, or probably you can make up your own notes. But do attempt the answer. It's important. It's boring. Okay, human physiology is always important. You all, we we really need to try to understand that what is exactly happening in our body, right? ठीक है? Okay, guys, are we clear with everything that we've done today? And don't remember this. Okay, don't stop being a student ever. Okay. And for people who have not yet liked, shared, and subscribed the channel yet, please go to YouTube and like, share, and subscribe Empower Tutorials. Okay, I'll see you next class. Till then, bye bye.